demands so many resources. It's so unbelievably complex on many different levels that it has to be done. Hey. I'm Thor from Denmark. I'm traveling to every single country in the world in a single unbroken journey, completely without flying. Now, why would someone go ahead and do something silly like that? No one has ever done that in the history of men, women, cats, dogs, goldfish, horses, you name it. I call myself a modern Viking. These days I sort of look at the part as my beard has grown quite long. I only shave it when I see my wife. Anyway, let me show you exactly where I am right now. It is pretty, isn't it? Less than 300 people throughout history have gone to every country in the world. It's that country too, and that country, and that, and that. It's just every country in the world. Let's take a quick look at where we are and how we got here. At this point, I've reached 194 of the targeted 203 countries. I started in Denmark on the 10th of October 2013 at 10.10 10 a.m. in the morning. We did 37 countries in Europe, then we came over the North Atlantic with seven different uh, ships, fishing boats, shrimp trawlers, container carriers and whatnot. I'm on board a ship here. Ah. Buses and trains have by far been the bulk of it. I have reached 100 countries in the world! Over to North America, from North America down through Central America. From Central America we got on a boat and got to South America. This is not a project I can explain in one simple sentence. Then we came across the North Atlantic, started on Africa. So, this is Africa. I've been on top of a truck for two days, together with a lot of people in Congo. <laughs> I almost lost my girlfriend due to the torque of a long-distance relationship. My grandmother died, I couldn't go to the funeral because of this project. It's the same kind of loneliness that you feel when you go to a party. The room is full of people dancing, there's music. You're even sitting at a table together with people, but for some reason you're still feeling lonely. I haven't been back home for five years. I've had every reason to go home and give up on this, um, especially throughout the pandemic. Still here in Hong Kong. It's February 2020. It's uh, taking its toll on me, but I'm sticking with it and promoting that if you want to reach for something here in life, it might not always be easy, but if you stick with it, that's the way that you eventually reach your goal. This isn't the kind of project where we give up. On a personal level, it defines who I am that I am not somebody who quits and for the rest of my life I will be able to look in the mirror and then know that I did something incredibly hard and I completed it.